Hello students, welcome to Smart Kids uh, Tutorials. In this video, we will be going through the mind map of triangles that will help us to quickly revise before the exams. We begin first uh, with uh, noting down what are similar triangles. Two triangles are said to be similar if their corresponding angles are equal and their corresponding sides are proportional. Okay. So, if uh, these two angles, that is uh, corresponding angles are angle in this two triangle, that is triangle ABC and triangle PQR, corresponding angles will be angle A and angle P, angle B and angle Q, angle C and angle R. Similarly, when we speak about their sides, uh, the corresponding sides are AB and PQ, AC and PR and BC and QR. So, if the angles are equal and uh, their corresponding sides are proportional, then we say that the two triangles are similar. When we say similar, uh, we should note that they are not equal because if they become equal, then we say that the two triangles are congruent. But here, we refer to them as being similar. That means they are, they have, uh, they look the same, but uh, in terms of their lengths, they are different. Okay, the lengths are different. That's why we take, uh, we uh, don't look to prove that the sides are equal, but rather uh, try to see that their corresponding sides are proportional. So, how do we prove that the two triangles are uh, similar to each other in terms of uh, following certain rules? Then we have this three rules that we need to follow. That is the AAA criterion, triple S criterion and the SAS criterion. Triple A stands for angle, angle, angle. Triple S stands for side, side, side. And SAS stands for side, angle, side. In the triple A criterion, what we look to see is uh, whether the corresponding angles of the two triangles are they equal. So, angle A should be equal to angle P, angle B should be equal to angle Q, and angle C should be equal to angle R. That's when it comes in falls in this criterion that is triple A criterion. So, as per triple A criterion, we can then say that this two triangles, triangle ABC and triangle PQR are e similar to each other. Now, if we get any two angles of let us say triangle ABC equal to the corresponding angles of triangle PQR, let us say angle A we found equal to angle P and angle B we found equal to angle Q, then in such a case it is enough to say that the two triangles are similar to each other because if the if two angles of a triangle are equal to two uh, two corresponding angles of the other triangle then the third angle of the two triangles have to be equal to each other okay so it is enough to show just aa sometimes we also uh, refer to it as an aa similarity criterion so that is about proving two triangles uh, similar when all the angles of uh, the two, uh, when the corresponding angles of two triangles are equal to each other. Moving to the next one, that is triple S criteria. That means we need to show that the uh, corresponding sides are proportional to each other and not equal to each other. Corresponding sides are not equal to each other because if corresponding sides are equal, then we will have to prove that the two triangles are congruent to each other. But here we are looking to prove that the two triangles are similar to each other. So, we look at the ratios rather to see if they are proportional to each other. So, what we will see is whether AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR is equal to AC upon PR. So, if we get a situation like this where the corresponding uh, sides of two triangles are proportional to each other, then we can say by triple S uh, criterion that the two triangles are similar to each other. Finally, we come to the third criterion, which is SAS, which means we need to get side angle side. Now, in the side angle side, if one angle of a triangle is equal to one angle of the other triangle and the sides including these angles are proportional, the triangles are said to be similar. What it means to say, let us say we will take these two triangles here, triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then in this case, we will let us say angle B is equal to angle Q and AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR. So, 
if we get this side angle side then we say that the two triangles are similar to each other so these are the three ways how we can prove two triangles as being similar to each other triple a triple s and sas criterion then we move on to the basic proportionality theorem or as we refer to it as just bpt in basic proportionality theorem this is also known as thales theorem so if a line is drawn parallel to one side of a triangle to intersect the other two sides in distinct points then the other two sides are divided in the same ratio okay so what it says is let's say we have this triangle abc here and we have this d and d is given parallel to bc if d is given parallel to bc then we can say that ad upon db is equal to ae upon ec so in other words ad upon db is equal to ae upon ec if d is parallel to bc this is the basic proportionality theorem now there is a converse of that and in the converse uh, what it uh, says is uh, if we are given that ad upon db is equal to ae upon ec then this d should be parallel to bc okay as noted over here so if you put it in words it says that if a line divides any two sides of a triangle in the same ratio then the line is parallel to the third side so if ad upon db is equal to ae upon ec then de should be parallel to bc okay so this is the basic proportionality theorem that we need to prove but uh, it can come also in terms of your mcqs uh, in term learning about um, proportionality of sides so it can also uh, we can also say that uh, ad upon ab is equal to ae upon ac or Uh, db upon ab is equal to ec upon ac so these are just uh, different variations of the basic proportionality theorem then we come to the area of similar triangles theorem and in the similar uh, what this theorem says is that the ratios of the areas of two similar triangles is equal to the square of the ratio of the corresponding side so if we compare the area let's say we want to find out the area or we are given the area let's say area of this two triangles triangle abc and triangle pqr if area of triangle abc and the ratio is taken of area of triangle abc upon area of triangle pqr then we we'll say that they should be equal to the square of the ratio of the corresponding side which are the corresponding side ab upon pq bc upon qr and ac upon pr are the corresponding side so but the squares of the corresponding side ratios of the corresponding so that means area of triangle abc upon area of triangle pqr should be equal to ab square upon pq square bc square upon qr square and ac square upon pr square this again can come in your uh, mcqs wherein you might be sometimes given the corresponding sides like ab and pq or bc and qr or ac and, and pr and asked to find the respective areas that is find the area of uh, triangle abc or triangle pqr okay three uh, quantities may be given may, may be given area of triangle pqr ab and pq and asked to find out area of triangle abc or you may be given area of triangle abc area of triangle pqr and one of the corresponding sides uh, uh, might be given like let's say ab and asked to find out what is pq so this is kind of like the formula that you need to use in order to find the other side or the uh, or an area so remember this is again a theorem that needs to be proven but for your mcqs you need to uh, note it from uh, from the point uh, what is the relationship between the area of triangles and the ratios of the corresponding side so this is about area of similar triangles theorem then we move on to the right angle triangle theorem before we start with the right angle tri triangle theorem we just need to, to look at another aspect or another important theorem which says that if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of a right triangle right angle 
of a right triangle to the hypotenuse then the triangle on both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole triangle and to each other okay we have this triangle over here triangle abc and this triangle abc okay we have this uh, bd perpendicular to ac and also it, this triangle abc is right angled at angle b so what this theorem says that if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of a right angle of a right triangle so triangle abc is here right angled at angle b and we are drawing a perpendicular from this b which is right angled okay and bd becomes our perpendicular over here then in this case you have to understand also one more thing that uh, since this triangle is right angled at angle b the side opposite to that should become the hypotenuse which means that ac will become the hypotenuse of triangle abc and in our theorem it says that a perpendicular drawn from the vertex of a right angle this one to the hypotenuse of that triangle okay then in such a case these two triangles which are formed that is triangle adb and triangle bdc these two triangles are similar to this entire triangle in other words angle adb will be similar to triangle abc and triangle bdc will also be similar to triangle abc and since they are similar to this entire triangle they have to be similar to each other as well that means angle sorry triangle adb will be similar to triangle bdc so this is one more theorem that comes in very handy to prove any riddles and also can come in uh, mcqs so remember one thing if a perpendicular is drawn from the vertex of a right angle of a right triangle to the hypotenuse then the triangles on both sides of the perpendicular are similar to the whole triangle and also to each other okay so if they are if these individual triangles are similar to the entire triangle then they have to be similar to each other as well a very very important theorem to remember moving on continuing with the same right angle theorem then we have two important ones okay which we have to prove as well and uh, those are the pythagoras theorem and the converse of pythagoras theorem pythagoras theorem we we know what it says okay this is uh, the what it means that the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides of a right angle triangle so in a right triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides so if triangle abc is right angled at angle a then bc becomes the hypotenuse so the square of the hypotenuse so bc square becomes equal to the sum of the square of the other two sides and the other two sides are ab and ac so bc square is equal to ab square and plus ac square once again very important uh, theorem and uh, can also come for your mcqs if two sides are given how do we find out the third side the converse of it says that if we are already given that this ac square is equal to ab square and bc square then we say that this triangle should be a right angle triangle so the statement says in a triangle if square of one side is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides then the angle opposite the first side angle opposite the first side should be a right angle in other words this should be a right angle triangle so angle b should be equal to 90 degrees here we were given angle a is 90 degrees and from there we concluded as per the pythagoras theorem that bc square should be equal to ab square plus ac square here we are given angle b uh, don't be confused between the two here this is cab right angle at a and here this is abc right angle at b that is why angle b is 90 degrees we can take the same triangle with the same letters as well then in that case angle a will become equal to 90 degrees and this will slightly change over here it will you will get it like this okay but otherwise it means the same thing that is if the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides then we say that it is uh, a right angle triangle so in a nutshell we can say that uh, triangle chapter involves three main theorems basic proportionality theorem 
area of similar triangle theorem and Pythagoras theorem. These three theorems we need to know thoroughly well if we need to master this uh, chapter of triangles. Apart from that, we need to know the three uh, criterions that uh, allow us uh, to prove two triangles to be proven as similar. So this is the mind map of triangles. I hope you find this useful. If you have liked watching this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and classmates. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so and keep watching for more such videos. Thank you for watching.